Some lies just hurt. But the ones that crawl into your brain and loop like a cursed TikTok sound? Yeah, those are the worst. Today we're deep cleaning your brain from all the nonsense people still believe about your mind, memory, emotions, and that weird mess happening inside your skull. 1. We only use 10% of our brain. This myth is more persistent than your I'll just watch one episode lie. It started thanks to a few quotes taken out of context and went viral like it was some scientific truth. Movies like Lucy made it worse. And suddenly everyone was out here thinking 90% of their brain was off like a half-dead LED light bulb. But no, we use 100% of our brain all the time. MRIS show that even when you're rotting on the couch scrolling through memes, your brain is lit up like times square. Not everything activates at once though, because that'd be like opening every single app on your laptop while trying to run Fortnite. Boom, instant crash. So no, you don't have a hidden superpower waiting to be unlocked by green juice and motivational quotes. Your brain is already working at full speed. You just use it to overthink what you should have said in that argument three years ago. Still counts. Two. Multitasking makes you more productive. Nope. Doing a million things at once sounds cool, until you realize you've opened 12 tabs and finished literally zero of them. Multitasking isn't productivity, it's chaos with a planner. Your brain can't focus deeply on two tasks at the same time. What it actually does is switch back and forth really fast. And that switching comes with a cost, lost time, more mistakes, and mental burnout. It's like trying to use TikTok on a 2012 Android. Laggy, glitchy, tragic. And the worst part, you feel like you did so much but actually finish nothing. You're not lazy, you're just mentally fried. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is just one thing, even if that one thing is crying while staring at a plant. Do it properly. 3. Trauma only counts if something really bad happened. This one's dangerously sneaky. We think trauma is a word reserved for people who survived wars, massive disasters, or Netflix documentaries. But trauma can also come from small, constant, badly processed experiences, like growing up terrified terrified of making mistakes, being told it's not a big deal every time you felt something, or having to play the strong one 24-7. That's trauma too. Trauma isn't defined by what happened, it's defined by how your nervous system experienced it. Sometimes it doesn't scream, it hides. Behind perfectionism, behind I'm fine smiles, behind a nervous laugh when someone asks how you're doing. So if something inside you feels off, don't invalidate it just because others had it worse. Your pain is valid even if no one else else noticed it. 4. You need motivation to get started. Ah yes, the most comfortable lie ever invented. I'll do it when I feel motivated. Spoiler, you won't. Motivation isn't a lightning bolt that strikes you while watching violin music over aesthetic sunsets. Motivation is the result, not the starting point. What actually works? Movement. Do one small thing even if you don't feel like it. Get up, open the file, wash one dish, and in the middle of that momentum your brain goes, okay, Maybe I can keep going. That's motivation. It's not a requirement, it's a side effect. If you wait to feel ready, you'll fossilize in bed with an overheated phone and 17 monkey screaming videos in your favorites. Believing motivation will come save you is like thinking the gas tank fills itself. If you want to light that inner fire, you gotta twist the knob first, then spark, then flame. If your brain's already sweating from all this uncomfortable truth, take a break. But first, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and ring the bell. We won't fix your life, but we'll explain why your brain is a beautiful, broken mess with memes and science every single week. Five. Memory works like a video camera. Wouldn't it be nice if your brain just recorded everything like a USB drive plugged into your skull? Well, too bad. Memory doesn't record, it reconstructs. And every time you remember something, your brain edits it a little, adds filters, scrambles the timeline, fills in blanks with stuff it thinks happened. Your memory is less courtroom evidence, more YouTube vlogger with editing software, and no sleep. Memory is emotional, inaccurate, and highly suggestible. That's why two people can describe the same event completely differently. It's also why you swear someone said something they literally never did. Your brain mixes memories with emotion emotions, expectations, and even TV shows you've seen. So no, you don't have a bad memory. You've got an internal creative editing system. Very creative. Almost as creative as the guy who said we'd have flying cars by 2025. 6. Negative emotions are bad. 
Seriously, who decided that feeling sad, angry, or frustrated was a bad thing? Emotions aren't enemies, they're messengers. And when you ignore them, they don't go away. They just stage an emotional hunger strike inside your body. Sadness tells you something important was lost. Anger tells you a boundary was crossed. Anxiety tells you your mind is running faster than your body can keep up. These are signals, not commands. You don't have to act on every feeling, but ignoring them like spammy app notifications? Not it. The real problem isn't feeling emotions. It's not listening to them. Bottled up feelings don't disappear. They go full ninja mode. They become weird pain, random insomnia, constant fatigue, or that classic everything's fine but something feels off vibe. Spoiler, it's not just you. That's your body waving a red flag about unresolved stuff, and that's not a glitch. That's a built-in feature. 7. People with anxiety always look anxious. Wrong. Not everyone with anxiety shakes, hyperventilates, or sweats like a panicked anime character. A lot of people with anxiety seem chill. They smile. They say, I'm good. And inside, it's war. Anxiety can be quiet, racing thoughts, random insomnia, phantom body aches, a desperate need to control everything, or that inner voice on repeat. Something bad's about to happen. And because no one sees it, even you start to doubt it's real. Spoiler. It is real. You still deserve help, even if you're not having a full-blown meltdown on the daily. 8. The brain stops developing at 25. This myth comes from studies on the prefrontal cortex, which does reach its most stable phase around 25 to 27. But that doesn't mean your brain shuts off like a cheap laptop. Your brain keeps changing forever. It learns, it adapts, it rewires. That's called neuroplasticity. You can change beliefs at 30, learn boundaries at 40, heal trauma at 50, cry for the first time at 60. There's no deadline for transformation, but school, society, and your aunt with unsolicited life advice wants you to have it all figured out before 30. Relax. Late evolution is still evolution and it totally counts. 9. Sleep is a waste of time. We live in a do more, sleep less culture. Like rest is a weakness or luxury. Your brain disagrees. Sleep isn't just resting. It's emotional processing. It's memory consolidation. It's toxin cleanup. It's tissue repair. It's your emotional stability software doing updates overnight. When you skip sleep, your emotional brain, the limbic system, goes full drama mode and your decision-making brain, the prefrontal cortex, logs out. Result, you become a sensitive zombie who cries because you dropped a spoon. If you love sleeping, you're not lazy. You're just running on overdrive. Sometimes resting is the bravest thing you can do. Then that we only have five senses. Ah yes, the classiest lie of them all. We all learned it in school. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch. But the brain has way more perception systems than that. Ever heard of proprioception? That's how you know where your leg is without looking at it. Balance? Thank your vestibular system. Pain detection before full damage? That's no deception. In reality, you've got over 10 senses working at once. Some scientists say it's closer to 20, so no, you're not too sensitive. You're just processing a flood of information non-stop. That's why sometimes you want to hide under a blanket and go full hermit. You're not broken. You're overstimulated. Your brain's running at max settings, like a gaming console that's about to catch fire. So now you know, multitasking is a lie. Memory is a creative scam, and motivation is not coming to save you. How do you feel? Confused? liberated, ready to cry in fetal position, all of that is valid. Knowledge doesn't always bring peace. Sometimes it brings more questions. But now you know the weird stuff you feel. It's not wrong. It's human. And your brain, as messy as it seems, is just trying to help you survive. In its own weird way, if you made it this far without combusting from mental whiplash, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and ring the bell. Here we validate your mental weirdness with science, memes, and a narrator who's emotionally unstable but functionally hilarious. See you in the next one.